Well, brand new tonight at 10. It's one of the most grueling races you may have ever heard of, and anyone can win. You just can't quit until everyone else does. It's a last man standing race attracting some of the world's strongest minded athletes from all around the world. And this weekend, it's in Bell Buckle, Tennessee, where it all started just 10 years ago. News Force Michael Warwick joins us now. And Michael, let me get this straight. You're telling me some of the winners in years past ran nearly 300 miles. It's amazing, isn't it? Just to be the last man standing. And in this race format, everyone else, no matter how many hundreds of miles you ran, you simply go down as it did not finish. As the sun set tonight over Bell Buckle, Tennessee, Gary Cantrell, known by lads, <laughs> awaits nearly three dozen of the world's most stubborn athletes to be brought to their breaking point. The entire race is about the will to win. You don't have to be fast. You don't have to be strong. You have to keep walking into that starting corral and going again. His creation is the Big Dog Backyard Ultra. It's a 4.1 mile loop in Cantrell's backyard. You run it every hour on the hour until there's only one left standing. They'll go about 200 miles before the race really starts. It goes all day, all night. For days, the athletes running quite literally on very little sleep. There aren't a lot of things in life that you can actually go and test yourself. Katie Wright won a backyard ultra in New Zealand, qualifying her for this one in Bell Buckle, the world championship. So the actual moment of winning is quite like, oh, it's it's over. This is my job, my crew, crew set up. Come on in. Tonight, as the athletes and their teams prepare for pain. When I get so tired, I actually have no idea what I'm meant to be cooking. It is the pain that, in some inexplicable way, is part of the attraction. Everybody knows there's 35 champions here, and one of them will be the champion of champions, and the others will deal DNF. But it will be glorious failure. <laughs> <laughs> a DNF for everyone but the winner, no matter how many miles you made it. Wow. Cantrell, who started this race format in 2011, says there's now 300 odd races just like it all around the world. Bell Buckle is where it all began. Pretty unbelievable. <sighs> no spectators to see all that craziness tomorrow, y'all. That sounds wow. sadistic. <laughs> it, it, you know, what's crazy to me is you know these are people who are, I mean, upper echelon athletes and athletes. to get a did not finish wow. it's like the biggest punch in the gut That's especially what after running in. a couple hundred miles <laughs> right right they'll have a dnf on that score sheet mm. for the rest of their life all wow. right <laughs> thanks michael